Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video. A bit of a spoiler alert, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than two minutes but it is on a topic which um, a lot of people talk about around the Z series cameras and that's autofocus. So when we break photography down into its core elements we've got exposure, white balance, focus um, and composition. They're the key fundamentals and with modern post-processing um, tools we can actually adjust many of the things that we capture in our cameras in post-production. The one thing we really can't change is focus. If an image is out of focus it's going to remain out of focus and therefore nailing it in camera is really critical. Mirrorless cameras are different to DSLRs in this respect. So whereas in DSLR cameras some of the light was split off to go on to the autofocus um, sensor, in mirrorless cameras obviously the phase detect um, sensor sites are actually embedded on the sensor and this means they're subtly different. Whilst much has been written about the relative merits and performances of each, very little is really known about the um, Z series autofocus system. Nikon have been a little bit coy about what they've released and what they've told us about how it works. The manual contains some basic information but it doesn't really give us the detail that we require as photographers to really predict how the camera is going to focus in different situations to ensure that we get that really sharp focus. So on the basis that it's a topic that hasn't really been covered too much, I thought what I'm going to do is split it down into a series of two minute tips videos. It'll probably end up at about six or seven videos, I think, to keep it in the sort of two to four minutes on each video. I'll be adding them to a separate playlist so you can find them easily, as well as adding them to the two minute tips playlist. But let's just take a quick look in this video at some of the things we might be able to do to make sure that we um, overcome some of those little nuances that have come to the surface around the Z series autofocus. So firstly, whilst the Z series, if you've updated the firmware in it, it's got some enhancements around low light um, autofocus performance. From my experience, it hasn't always nailed the focus in those kind of situations. So therefore, what we've got to be is a little bit canny as photographers in ensuring that there is some contrast in the area where we're trying to focus. Um, and that can have a big difference on the ability of the camera to capture focus in difficult situations. Secondly, because the nature of the um, phase detect points on the sensor. They're actually in between the sensor points in parallel lines and therefore if we're shooting a subject such as a Venetian blind which is also parallel, if we have the lines of the Venetian blind parallel to the long edge of the sensor then it can be tricky for the camera to actually pick up autofocus on that. So again just one to be aware of, look out for um, parallel lines close to the edge of the sensor on that long axis. Equally the sensor can have problems with geometric objects perhaps such as architecture or buildings where you've got a lot of parallel lines so just be aware and just see whether readjusting your composition very slightly will allow the camera to have a better chance at capturing focus. Finally, think about lighting in the subject area. Try and avoid pointing the camera directly at lights um, causing sharply contrasting brightnesses. This can trick the camera and cause problems for the autofocus. Equally, if you're shooting neon or um, lights that are flickering or changing intensity, changing color, have a think about whether there are things you can do to give the camera a better chance at capturing focus. From my experience, we're not saying that the camera won't capture focus, but it will sometimes hunt a little bit, and therefore, by tweaking your composition, you can give it a better chance of capturing focus. So whilst some people have found the um, Z-series autofocus to be perhaps not quite 
um, as good as perhaps the DSLRs in certain situations. The one thing that the Z series really does have going for it is the almost edge to edge phase detect um, autofocus points. It's a great advantage, um, but it does challenge us to think about how we're using our cameras and how we are using autofocus in them. So in future Two Minute Tips videos, I'm going to be unpacking individual elements of the autofocus system, different functionality, and getting us thinking about how we can best set our cameras up to get the best results. As I say, focus is one of those things that you've got to get right in camera, and therefore it's really important. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of the future um, series of two minute tips around autofocus. Let me know in the comments below, how are you finding the Z series autofocus? Are there any tips and tricks that you can share with us that will help us all get better in this area and nail the focus on every image? And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.